Question 1. Find the number of lines of symmetry for each of the following shapes. So these are the shapes for which we have to find the number of lines of symmetry. So first of all, let's see a part. So a line of symmetry is something if you place mirror on that, you get the opposite figure of that. So we have one, two, three, four lines of symmetry for a part. So this was a part. Now B part. So this is the figure. These round figures. So if we place line of symmetry vertical, we will be able to make it diagonally. We will also be able to have the pattern on the other side. So total we have 1, 2, 3, 4 line of symmetry. Now C part. Now this is the plus. Pictorically represented. So here again we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 possible lines of symmetry. Now this toy, this toy has only one line of symmetry that is vertical, that is his eyes and mouth are separated with it. Now this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexagon. Hexagon has, a regular hexagon has 6 lines of symmetries. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you place mirror on these line of symmetry, you'll be able to get the other side. Now F part. This is again the same thing. Again, we have six line of symmetries because the inside figure in this hexagon is also symmetrical. Now here, G part has no symmetry. If you make a vertical line, you will not be able to get the following figure on the other side. So line of symmetry is just flipping the object across the line. Now this was a G part. It has no line of symmetry. H part. So this symbol has also no line of symmetry. If you try to place in any side, you will not be able to get the inverted side of the following diagram. Now I part, this petal of a flower has three line of symmetry. So you will be able to get the other side flip if you place your mirror on any of these sides. So this was your first question. Second, copy the triangle in each of the following figures on squared paper. In each case, draw the lines of symmetry, if any, and identify the type of triangle. Some of you may like to trace the figure and try paper folding first. So we will do in this question itself because it is already placed on the square paper. So you can see it is an isosceles triangle because only these sides are equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is an isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangles have only one line of symmetry that is vertical, going from the top vertex to the between of the other side. That was your A part, only having one line of symmetry. Now B part, this is an equilateral triangle. If you count this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. You have to remember this. So if you place in any of these three line of symmetries the mirror, you will be able to get the other side. The triangle. So make sure it passes from one vertex and goes from the opposite side in between. So this was your three line of symmetries you will make for your equilateral triangle. That was your B part. Now see, this is a right angle triangle, here it is right angle and it has again one line of symmetry. No other possible line of symmetry in case of right angle triangle. So D part, it is again an isosceles triangle, just tilted towards the side. So for as, so as for the case of A part, it has also one line of symmetry passing through this vertex and going to the other side from between. 
दिस वॉज योर डी पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन थर्ड कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग टेबल सो शेप रफ फिगर एंड नंबर ऑफ लाइन ऑफ सिमिट्री आर डिपेक्टेड योर फर्स्ट वन इज गिवन इक्वल ट्राइंगल एज बी एफ स्टडेड इट हैज थ्री एंड सिमिट्रीज एज शोन इन द फिगर सो वी राइट थ्री फॉर इट सिमिलरली वी विल डू फॉर स्क्वेयर वेल दिस इज योर स्क्वेयर सो स्क्वेयर हैज फोर लाइन ऑफ सिमिट्रीज एज रेप्रेजेंटेड हियर सो वन टू थ्री फोर therefore we write square has number of line of symmetry equals to 4 now for rectangle so this is your rectangle having two opposite sides equal in length so it has two number of lines of symmetry now isosceles triangle we have studied earlier as well in the previous question it has only one line of symmetry therefore we write one in place of number of lines of symmetry now rhombus so this is your rhombus it has again two lines of symmetry so writing two on the place of number of lines of symmetry now circle well this is your circle when you try to make number of lines of symmetry for circle they turn out to be infinite that was your question third four can you draw a triangle which has a part exactly one line of symmetry yes obviously isosceles triangle we have studied in previous two questions exactly one line of symmetry in case of isosceles triangle exactly two lines of symmetry well there is no triangle possible to have two lines of symmetry Three lines of symmetry. Well, yes, equilateral. We have studied it, so we can make from all the three vertex and going from the other opposite side from between. So these are the three lines of symmetry in case of equilateral triangle. No lines of symmetry. Well, yes, obviously, scalene triangle. Scalene triangle is one which do not have any sides equal. So this was your question four. Five on a squared paper. Sketch the following: a, a triangle with with the horizontal line of symmetry but no vertical line of symmetry. So we have constructed a triangle which has only horizontal line of symmetry. As you can see here, if you flip on the horizontal direction, you will be able to get the triangle. A uh, quadrilateral of both horizontal and vertical line of symmetry. Well, yes, this is a rectangle. We have studied rectangle has both horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry. Now C part quadrilateral with horizontal line of symmetry but no vertical line of symmetry. So yes, you can make it. Keep one side longer and other side shorter. You'll be able to make it with horizontal line of symmetry, as we have shown in this case. There is no vertical line of symmetry for C part. D a hexagon with exactly two lines of symmetry. Well, obviously yes, C part has. As you can see here, just don't make it a regular hexagon. Keep one side longer than the other. Will be able to make hexagon with exactly two lines of symmetry. E part hexagon with six lines of symmetry. Well, yes, you can make it. Just make the regular hexagon having all the sides equal. It has six lines of symmetry. As you can see here in this picture. So that was your E part of the question number five. Sixth. Trace each figure and draw the lines of symmetry, if any. Well, a part. It is an equilateral triangle, but we cannot make any line of symmetry. Why? Because it has some sides which will not be able to deflect when we make the line of symmetries. B part. Well, it is very easy. It has two line of symmetries. We'll be able to get a reflection of one if you place on any of these line of symmetries. So this is a square. As you have read earlier, square has four line of symmetries. Therefore, it has four. Now, this is irregular hexagon. As we have studied earlier, it has both vertical and horizontal line of symmetries. This is a kite, so it has only one line of symmetry, the horizontal line of symmetry. This figure has four line of symmetries. You'll be able to get other part 
or the reflected part if you place a mirror on any of these line of symmetries. That was the whole purpose of making line of symmetries. Question 7. Consider the letters of English alphabets A to Z. List among them the letters which have a part vertical line of symmetry like A. And you can see here A has vertical line of symmetry. And then we have H. H has both. I also has. M also has. O also has. We have T as well. Q has also vertical line of symmetry. V including. W also has. X also has and Y also has. So these are the letters that have vertical line of symmetry. Now horizontal line of symmetry like B. So as you can see B, C, D, E, H. H was having both. Then you have K and X. Then you have O. Okay, so these are horizontal lines of symmetry. Alphabets. Now, no lines of symmetry. There are some letters which do not have any line of symmetry, like F, G, J, L, N, P, Q, R, S, and Z. These letters have no lines of symmetry at all. So, that was your last question, question number 7. Eighth, given here are figures of a few folded sheets and designs drawn about the fold. So this is the paper which has been folded and design has been made. In each case draw a rough diagram. In every case you have to draw a rough diagram to complete figure that would be seen when the design is cut off. So you have to first make the design and you have to cut it with the help of scissor or any gadget for that purpose. And when you open that you, what kind of pattern you will get. So first part is shown this was the vertical line of symmetry. So similar figure will be created. Now B part, when this paper will be flipped downwards, so you will get such type of cutted portion. So this was simple, both questions were simple. You can use it practically. You can do it practically. So this was your last question, question number eight.